In this video, I'm going to give you some reasons why you should get the Drake Interplanetary Ironclad. Let's get straight into it. Before we get started, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for the Mirai Pulse. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of June. Let's get into this video. All right, so um, just to give you guys um, a little um, disclaimer. When I say get, there are many ways of getting this ship. You can pledge for it through Warbond. You can pledge for it through in-store credit and you can also get it in game. Either way, it, the choice is yours, right? You don't have to get it with uh, real world money. Me personally, I'm going to get this ship in game as a goal for myself, okay? So to be quite honest, I love this ship. This is an awesome looking ship plus all the utility that it offers it's it's phenomenal okay so um what i'm gonna do in this video i'm gonna give you guys some more information on this ship and what it's capable of and some reasons why you would want a vehicle like this within your fleet so um there is two variants there's the ironclad and then it's there the ironclad assault okay so uh, just to quickly go over the ironclad and some of the features it has it says it's armored cargo so that's what it's classified as um other ships previously before this hasn't hasn't been labeled as an armored uh, vehicle at all so they have armored cargo right cig has not implemented armor into the game yet but armor is going to be very important in terms of uh, survivability and strength of any ship and this is already coming out as an armored cargo so it's going to be super tanky right now with the master mode vehicles are very tanky now so now imagine this thing um also having armor in addition to uh health pools of ships right now so it's going to be a very strong um ship that has uh survivability features that no other ship um have um, except for Drake ships okay so um just to get into it the ironclad um armored cargo a uh, crew of six um 120 meters um in length uh 52 in width height of uh 20 meters cargo is going to be 1536 su so that's tons and tons of cargo space okay quantum drive is a size three quantum fuel two size three quantum fuel tanks so this means this thing is meant for long range traversals right all right so keep that in mind um it has a um a fuel tank two size three fuel tanks as well and uh four size three shields so now think about this how tanky this thing is going to be four size three shields plus its armor so this is going to be a tank now i'm talking about the ironclad plus the assault is probably going to be a little bit more tankier than this one. okay so that's that's really impressive all right one size three uh radar all right so now in terms of the the stations that it offers it has the pilot seat co-pilot two remote turrets and two man turrets and on uh, and the thrusters it has 10 main thrusters and two retro and four veto and 18 math okay so in terms of the um turrets it has one size five man turret so that's a lot of firepower with just that that set right there two times two uh two times size three remote turrets so that's pretty decent and one time size three man turrets and one time size two interior turret so that's that's huge this is different this is the first ship that we've seen in the game that has in internal turret for defense in case you get raided so keep that in mind guys all right so with the um piloted there's also piloted control missile turret so it says four times size five launchers with two times size four missile so this thing can defend itself it can defend itself and plus it has three tractor beams to help move the cargo around that is impressive for a ship that is very impressive i've never seen so much features within a hauler before this is very impressive drake does not play 
with this concept this is this is a great step forward for a drake chip so now with this one it has a front ramp access and a secure um freighter storage as well so within it outside of its main cargo bay there's also a secure uh freight storage area as well so that is good so if you have really high value items you want to keep it separate from the main cargo area you can have it there and also have some extra security here to de further defend that all right in case you're being boarded all right so it comes with the cargo hangar area as well if you want to store ships and um and it's top openings which makes this huge because you can fit a lot of things in here um it has a command bridge and a command module that can also detach so that's another security and safety feature that most um other manufacturers don't offer so the other ship that has this is also going to be the caterpillar itself which is the little brother of this vehicle okay so the question is why should you get the iron clad all right so um one of the things um the way i look at this vehicle right hauling if you need hauling and you need to protect the items that you're hauling right so if you're looking at vehicles like the hall c your cargo is going to be in, on the exterior and it's not going to be properly protected right so you have tons and tons of space with 1500 seu you can move a lot of stuff you can move a lot of stuff and have them protected uh, moving forward cig is going to be implementing cargo um box ca cargo containers that have uh, prerequisites in terms of storage and maintenance of them right so there's going to be certain things that are volatile to fires certain things that need to maintain a certain temperature with engineering gameplay you're going to have to control room temperatures in order to um for the protection of your cargo right so this is going to offer those services all right so um also also um it's it's strong it's armored so you're going to be moving cargo in a well protected vehicle right um also it has a um with the size of its cargo bay now this is a big feature guys with the size of the cargo bay you have the, comp the capacity to store a an industrial another industrial ship that enables this thing to be versatile so for example this looks like it's big enough to fit either a prospector or um a, a vulture or possibly both we'll, we'll have to see it once it's in the game but if you fit one of those industrial ships in there you'll also have let's say you fit a prospector in there right you have you also have room to put a pisces um rescue right to add medical facilities services within this ship then you also might have space to put a light fighter like uh the uh the arrow to make it um more versatile so now you have a mobile base that has the range to travel large systems like pyro right that enables you to have a miner on board that can go out and mine and come back you have medical services available to you you have room for vehicles so there's also vehicles that cig i believe cig will add vehicles that also add utility right there are vehicles like for example the uh ursa medevac right so now you you're add with with different vehicles that you can add to this ship you add to the functionality of this ship and it behaves as if it's a base this is what set this ship apart from many haulers right this is what sets it apart because it's literally a mobile base okay so these are the reasons why you should get the ironclad whether you're getting the store credit war bond or in game this is the reason why you have you should consider the drake ironclad so now let's get into the ironclad assault all right so this one it says heavy drop ship but it's more than that but right, i'm going to explain 
crew of six, same stats um, as we saw, but the difference is you have less cargo. And then we're going to get into why there is a little bit less cargo as opposed to the, the base variant, right? One size, one um, uh, Q drive. One, one size, three Q drive. Uh, two size, three fuel tanks. So we also long range as well. Um, two size, three uh, fuel tank, quantum fuel tank tanks, and then two size, three fuel tanks. All right. And then shield generators is four times size three. So essentially they have the exact same fuel generator. So they're both just as tanky, but the difference with this is it's going to be a lot. Maybe the, the armor on, on it physically will be stronger than the base variant. All right. Because this one is going to be the one you will take into battle regularly okay um one size three radar um pilot seat co-pilot four times remote turrets two uh two manned 34 jump seats i'm not sure what this is jump seats what does this mean are these these could be where players can deploy from if you have people on board that you're, you're deploying in a, in a battlefield this is probably where they can deploy from i, I assume what these things are okay so um main turrets um we've already gone through this is essentially the same one time five uh size five quad manned so this one yeah so this one yeah so this one is in quad but this one is quad so that means four guns for that turret two times size three remote quad uh turret two times size three remote turrets one time size three manned and one time uh size two interior remote so if you're in a case where somebody's boarding you or attacking you this one and also the base version you can actually defend with an internal turret that is so good man such a great feature i love it all right so the next one here it says here uh, four times size five launchers with two times size four missiles essentially the same as the base variant it also comes with utilities so it says component fabrication so that's crafting rearm and refuel garage um main garage hall jump seats and it says upper walk area jump seat so these are places i assume players will be able to deploy from if they're assaulting a base on ground or something like that or even in space if you're assaulting a space station different areas where the people can just uh deploy from. okay so this this one reasons why you should get it heavily armored you're gonna use you're gonna be using it for combat services so dropping off tanks dropping off vehicles dropping off maybe uh light fighters or uh, furies a set of a bunch of furies you want to drop in a battlefield you can drop them off as well with this thing and it will take hits and it, it and also can also dish out some serious damage as well this is also serves as a mobile base um even more than the base one simply because it has the component fabrication so it has a crafting device where you can craft components based on the materials you have for it right so it's a mobile base why because once again, like I said in the previous one, you can put uh, another vehicle in here, a ship, like a prospector or a, uh, a vulture to add to its utility. You can add uh, a Pisces as well to add for medical services. You can add uh, a rover that also adds utility like a uh, Ursa rover uh, medical to add um, a little bit more functionality. Um, ROCs, miners to add uh, that functionality as well right so this is literally going to be a base of operation for any group of small players any small group of players right this is going to allow you to do so much because it has the service area for your vehicles it has vehicle bays it has a main hangar area to store ships as well smaller ships as well as vehicles like as you can see with the tanks it has um also additional space to put a small ship like the pisces so 
with this ship you can do so much more than your average hauler okay so this is these are some of the reasons why i think this is a great ship why you should get it whether it's in game whether it's a, it's through warbond or whether it's through store credit it's a solid pick if you're looking into getting a hauler that is going to be from a an upgrade from the caterpillar or the c2 um and you don't want really want to get into the hall c um, um level yet okay so one great feature that both of these variants have is the command module right so the command module it has a quantum drive one size one quantum drive this is this is invaluable other manufacturers don't offer this right a command module that can detach from the ship this is huge right one size one quantum tank fuel tank one size one fuel tank a shield generator in addition to that a radar man this is big um pilot seat co-pilot seat com comms navigation and six time jump seats all right so your your entire crew can actually have a seat there and um two turrets uh two retro 12 mav fixed turrets and a pilot controlled size 2 remote turret this man drake is killing it with this feature for its big ships this is awesome okay so you guys let me know are you guys considering getting the drake interplanetary ironclad or ironclad assault let me know in the comments down below let me know the reasons why you're gonna get it let me know in the comments down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one Peace.